Hello and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I hope to give you the most informative video on the cost of life in Russia. In this video, we're going to talk about the cost of life here as far as houses. We're going to look at three ranges, expensive, medium, and cheap. And we're going to be looking at apartments, expensive, medium, and cheap. And we're going to be talking about rent. We're going to be walking around town. I'm going to be showing you all different houses, how they look outside. I'm going to show you their ads online and you're going to compare and, and uh, basically see the reality of the cost versus how it really looks. So if you're interested in seeing what life is like here, how much it costs, if you're interested in moving into Russia, you're going to want to watch this video. Let's go. And to get started, we're going to walk to a place that has a mid-priced uh, apartment and a low priced apartment. So um, we're gonna make our way towards it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like outside. We're going to walk around it, uh, give you all that information uh, that's posted online after we see it so that you can see what it looks like online and you can see what it looks like in uh, real life as it is now. And so the first two apartments, like I said, are medium priced and uh, the lower priced. And this is the building that they are in. They are across a kid's playground and a park where kids play soccer and ice skate. This is actually an ice skating ring in winter. So we're gonna take a full walk around the entire area and talk a little bit more about what I see and we'll go over the prices. As we're walking around here on the other side before I show you, the prices for the cheapest one is 2,400,000 rubles and uh, the more expensive one is how much, Senya? Uh, 3 million 600. 3,600,000 rubles. So now we're turning the camera around and showing you the front of the apartments. And this is the front of the apartments. The, the other shot is actually from the back. You can see that the road is paved on this one. And what's interesting about this apartment, as I showed you, it has a playground across the street, but it also has a playground in front. And this uh, community is shaped like a, a box and in the middle, all the kids can play. It's really nice, really well maintained actually for early spring. Usually a lot of the places are a little bit more dirty, but as you can see, this playground is completely free for the kids and all they have to do is walk outside their doors. The flyer on the internet shows three photos of the apartment. It's nothing too impressive. And then it goes to the pricing. 2,400,000, it tells you how big it is. It tells you it has one room and it is on the third floor of four total. All right, so let me know in the comment section. Do you think that the prices are fair? Uh, does it look fine to you? I've shown you what it looks like in person. Uh, hopefully you saw what it looks like on the advertisements online. Is it something that you would be interested in moving to a place like this, uh, an apartment complex for that price? This is the mid-priced apartment. This has two rooms and the cost is 3,600,000 rubles. This apartment sits on the first floor in its complex. You saw the one in the middle and now we're going to walk across the street on that side and show you what uh, the price is for an expensive apartment and we're going to show you what it looks like outside. Um, we will be walking to it of course so you get to see the streets of Sludanka. Let's go. A lot of the front yards are now clean of ice. Wherever the sun doesn't shine there's still uh, some ice and snow but for the most part in Sludanka it's getting very very clean. As we make our way to the next location, we get to see apartments of different colors. Is it this one, Senya? Mm -hmm. Okay, Senya is saying that the expensive one is located in this building. So this is how it looks on the back. Um, we'll go around the other side to show you the front as soon as the car passes. All right, let's go. You can see that it has balconies on all, all floors, first, second, third, and fourth. And already I can tell you that uh, perhaps this one costs more because it's closer to the main street, which is Lenina, there where you see the cars. 
um this of course also has a playground next to it this is very typical and so this is the front of the most expensive one it is like we said 500 uh five million five hundred thousand rubles it has four rooms and it is on the fourth level this is how the outside looks the road is paved it sits one street away from the street of lenina which is the main street the trash cans are located here to the side the most expensive apartment has four rooms it sits on the fourth level of the complex and it is five million five hundred thousand rubles here's all the shots from the interior you know uh a lot of people are always asking how much things cost and if you look at the prices on the websites the prices go up and down but for the most part it seems to be correct um like for one one room apartment you can get a uh, you can buy it for about 2 million rubles, 2.5 million rubles. Um, for anything higher than that, you basically add a million for every room that you want. Those are the apartments that are for sale here in our town. We are going to take a minibus and head into the center of the town and show you what houses look like and how much houses cost here in Sludanka in a typical Siberian town. Uh, but do keep in mind that this uh, town is located at the shores of Lake Baikal, so the prices may be a little bit higher compared to a town that's in the middle of nowhere. The closer you get to the main street, the bigger or the more well-maintained the buildings look, in my opinion. These are of better quality, two-story buildings. They look very clean and uh, very well-kept. The bus stop is close and we'll continue. This is how the buildings look. And there's the bus stop. We'll catch up to you inside the minibus. All right, there goes the minibus, and we're going to find, what is it, the most expensive, or which one? Okay, so Senya says we're going to go look for the, the middle-priced house for sale. And uh, we're on the main street right now, again, on Lenina. So you get to see what it looks like here. Let's turn the camera around. As we're walking, we uh, encounter one of the schools here in the center of Sludanka. Look how cool that looks, really nice. And we're basically making our way outside of the main street where there's a lot of buildings like apartments and stuff like that. And we're heading to a place where houses exist, where you can see here on the right, there's actually houses. You get to see the streets, the sidewalks, the playgrounds of the buildings. It's totally different. Uh, you can be uh, next to the Baikal, you can be next to the mountains. So we continue the walk to look at the medium price range house. What I really like about the living in a small town is you don't have to live in an apartment. You can live in a small house you don't have to live in a luxurious house, but you can find them here. Uh, Senya is showing us where to go. We're crossing the streets. Look at this colorful house here. You don't see that a lot, guys. There's Senya and there's the house with the colorful fence. It's not something you often see. A lot of the fences in town are usually one color, but that one is particularly awesome. This is the streets on how they look. Uh, by the way, the forest behind in the mountains in spring, it looks absolutely beautiful with the blue sky. All of this comes to life in late, to, late spring to early summer. My favorite blue and white combination for the windows. There's another blue and white combination. Green roofs, green fences, very, very typical. 
We are here at the location of the mid-priced uh, house. This one costs 7,950,000 rubles. I will, of course, put the conversion on the screen for you guys in USD. And we're gonna get a closer look. We're actually in the center of the town. Uh, it's very quiet, not a lot of traffic. I'll show you the neighborhood. I'll show you a close-up of the house. And of course, we'll show you the ad online. This house is massive. It is two stories, a beautiful fence. The material looks new on the fence. The roof itself looks really, really good. Comment down below if it's somewhere where you would like to live. Okay, this is the neighborhood that it lives in. You guys can comment down below if you would like to uh, move in. And all you have to do is pay 7950000 And you can be my neighbor and we can go fishing. Now, this house that I just showed you, uh, Senya says it has eight rooms. So not only will you be able to live inside of it, but I can come visit, uh, your mom can come visit, basically the whole neighborhood can come visit you if they wish, right? So this house is uh, located, like I said, near the center of Sludanka, one street, uh, one street away from Lenina, like one cross street, you can just drive down. We'll let this car pass. And uh, how many rooms did you say? Eight? eight. Guys, eight rooms for the mid price house. 7,950,000. And now let's show you the ad online. The mid priced house cost 7,950,000 rubles. And it has eight rooms. The kitchen, the bathroom, all of the rooms ha have very strange colors. So it looks like a party house. But what I really loved about this house was the fact that it had a greenhouse and land outside. So the last photos are actually that. It's showing you the outside and the yard. There's a lot of space in this house and I really like that. All right, guys. Now that you saw the ad, do you think it's worth it? Say goodbye to the mid-priced uh, house here in Sludanka. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you think that the price fits what you're seeing. And now we're going oh. to which house? The the most expensive or the lowest Most. all right senya says we're going to see now the low range for a house in a siberian town as we go there now i'm going to show you the neighborhood so there's the house we just mentioned and we're gonna go walking through the neighborhood because we're on our way to see the lowest uh price range for a house in a siberian town and you get to see exactly what everything looks like the roosters are singing behind the the mountains are still with snow it's a beautiful scene here it's very quiet if i shut up you will just hear the roosters sing look at these houses guys you hear that rooster <laughs> so you really get a really nice feeling in this street you get to see what the sidewalks look like it is peaceful Check this out, guys. I've mentioned it many times. The material on these houses varies so much. That one is made of newer wood. This one looks a little bit older. And then you have this brick house here. It's, it's just fascinating. I love this town. I love it. I'm really enjoying this walk through town. There's some places that I've never seen before. Some of these houses uh i haven't seen and i actually take pride in knowing uh what part of town it is depending on what house i'm showing because these houses are so unique there's not one house that looks like the other as far as the houses go they are all unique you'll never find a house that's the same color the same design in this town now it's nothing like america america looks a little bit more like this i'll put it on the screen now what suburban life looks like in america you can see the all the houses look similar same colors but not here somebody's cooking shashlik huh yes, it, smells mm. it smells so delicious guys we're walking down the street and we smell shashlik it's awesome as i told you before guys this town gets its water from a lot of wells underground and this is actually the biggest one in this part of the town so let's go look at the water and drink some Oh, 
That's really good. Better than Coca-Cola. Now that I've hydrated, we're on our way to the cheapest house here in town. And uh, let me tell you, you'll never go thirsty in, uh, in a Russian village. Why? Or a town for that matter. Because this water is completely free. It's drinkable. It's the same water people get in their house. And honestly, I prefer it more than just buying uh, water from the store. And there's so many of these uh, wells all over Sludanka that if it's literally impossible for you die of thirst, okay? Let's turn the camera around because we're almost to the house that is the cheapest on the price range. All right, this is the street where it's uh, leading to the house. People are outside partying. The weather is so good right now. We're above uh, a couple degrees. So, uh, Senya let me know that this house costs 1300000 Can you imagine what it looks like? I don't know what it's going to look like, uh, but she does know. And uh, I'm anxious to find out. We're almost there. We're walking in the center of town. There's a lot of stores here. And it should be a good time. All right, uh, we're on our way to see the house. It's actually in front of us. Uh, this lady behind us said hello. Strastutie, das vidanya. She uh, was a nice friend and she had a little conversation with us. And uh, she let us know that she, we're the first American, well, I'm the first American she's ever talked to. I thought that was interesting. So we're going to turn the camera around and show you the house now. Okay, guys, we are in the center of the town. And the house that we're going to look at is this one with blue windows with white. This is the front of the building. Uh, Senya just said that the house is actually 1.3 million rubles and uh, it's actually not all for sale. I guess they use it as a dacha, but this is the most, uh, this is the cheapest one we could find anyways. All right, we've shown you the expensive. Well, actually, this is the cheapest. We've shown you the, the mid-priced housing and this is the cheapest. I will show you the advertisement online now. The advertising only had two photos and it was nothing really so revealing, but that's all we got. Like we said, the advertisement is letting you know that it's selling part of the house, but it does let you buy all of it. And uh, I believe that if they sell all of it, it's still lower than the mid-priced one, which was 7 million, around almost 8 million rubles, right? So now we're going to go to the most expensive one, right? Yeah. Okay, so the most expensive one, I have no idea what it's going to look like. Uh, I, seeing the mid-priced the mid-priced one, I hope it's like a four-story house because the mid-priced building was beautiful. Right, we're on our way to see the most expensive building. Uh, before we go, we're gonna stop at my local bakery. I'm gonna get something to eat. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, until we get there, let's turn the camera around so you could see what the center of Sudanka looks like. Look at this beautiful sign here. This is my motherland, uh, right here in the center of Sludanka, at this uh, center park. I've shown you guys before, uh, part of the town over there, there's that train, there's that face of Lenin. Uh, behind this building is the train station. Here at the center, there's a place for kids to play. But let's make our way to the bakery and then to the most expensive house for sale here in town. All right, we're making our way towards the bakery. They look to be painting the outside. Let's look inside. Mm. We got these like uh, pizza style things with chicken. And we're eating here at the bakery. But look at this. Across the street, you can see the world famous KFC only in Sludanka. We're gonna finish eating and then we'll head out. All right, we finished eating and now we're officially on our way to see the most expensive house for sale here in the town of Sludanka, a Siberian town. Let's check it out. Here we are, back on the streets, uh, on our way to see the most expensive house for sale. This is what the streets look like. We are one block away from Lenina Street, which is the center of the town. And this street basically goes up towards the mountains. 
here's another school well actually this is where people practice archery the school sits behind it so that's really interesting in it and uh like i said when when spring comes the town starts to clean up it is not as dirty well i like i've said in other videos guys when the snow melts away and the weather is better the people start to repaint their houses they start to pick up the garbage all that garbage that was under the snow for six seven months gets picked up look at this beautiful corner here nice old style house with a new modern style house a beautiful background and it's all right across two schools so that seems to be like a kindergarten and this school in particular senya this is your school in 2008 uh-huh i don't miss about this i you was 11 years there <laughs> it's enough it's enough so Sen this is senya's old school she says that she was here 11 years well good thing you don't have to go back today let's go <laughs> today we're just going to make a video about the prices of housings in a siberian town a russian uh, informative video let's continue well guys so far uh let's do a quick recap you've seen the apartments you've seen how much apartments cost we've seen the medium and the low housing cost and like i said we're going to the most expensive one now we have passed a lot of schools so if you move to a town like this do not be afraid your kids will be uh in class they'll have good schooling and I honestly feel that they have everything here. Everything a kid m might need in his life. Uh, although Senya doesn't miss her school, thanks to that school she learned English and she met me because nobody would have helped me if she didn't speak English. My first teacher was perfect. She was so good, explained everything. Okay, well, apparently Senya's first English teacher was really, really good. Thank you to her. Let's turn the camera around. All right, guys, down the street is the most expensive house for sale in Sludanka, but behind me is the house you've already seen. This house has been uh, on at least one of my old episodes, but today is not about it, although it is very beautiful. We're going to go look at the most expensive house now. Come on. The neighborhood that it's in it's very quiet a lot of the houses are renovated a lot of the houses are in their older conditions but for the most part the neighborhood looks very very nice houses like this all right we're getting to it let's go all right guys this is what 20 million rubles in russia gets you this house has seven rooms and for 20 million i honestly don't think it's that special because the house next to it looks exactly like it <laughs> so i'll be showing you the advertisement for this house what i found interesting about the most expensive house is that inside it actually looks better than the medium-sized house and it does have a big yard so you can actually farm things and I love how they emphasize that they are next to Lake Baikal by the last shot. Now that you've seen the advertisement for this one, do you think it's worth 20 million rubles? Is it that special? Seven rooms, 20 million rubles. And uh, honestly, the, the neighbor looking exactly like it doesn't really look that cool. I talked about how unique houses are here, but uh, this house is not that unique as it does have the same color combination. Obviously, it has a different design. You have local children drinking the juice of the gods. Here we are. Uh, basically about two or three blocks away from Lenina. At the end you see the buildings. That's the main street. And the most expensive house in the town lives on this street here. Now that you've seen the houses that are the most expensive and the apartments that are the most expensive, I want to talk about... Uh, the rent so you obviously don't have to buy uh, a house 
and just to let you know the average uh cost of an apartment here is about 15 to 30 thousand and it fluctuates depending on how many rooms you want and uh, a house can cost more than that so the the cost of buying we've already gone through i've let you know what the cost of rent is i want to know what do you think uh do you think that the house the most expensive house is worth it do you think that the middle house is worth it or is the cheapest house worth it what is the best bang for your money what is the best deal senya had a really good idea so as we were walking to the next bus stop to go home if you see a house that you like put a timestamp on a comment and say this is the house that you like forget about the pricing if you see something you like when i turn the camera around and we walk to the bus stop comment on the on the comment section that this is the house you would move into all right i want to see some comments showing me some nice houses let's turn the camera around now oh and if the if the house already showed up in the beginning of the video you can go back to it and look at it all of these houses are special and unique in their own way not everybody should like the same house so like i said if you see something that you like put a timestamp on the comment section and describe the house that you like i'm very curious to know what you're going to say That's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. If you have someone who might be interested in this topic, perhaps share the video. And uh, of course, we hope to see you on the next one. So goodbye, guys. Bye.